What's going on YouTube? This is your boy, you know T Green, and I'm back with another video. And you already know the motto. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing, man. So you already know what I'm gonna cook up, y'all. Some fish and grits, man. Gotta uh, use that leftover fish, man. We're gonna cook it over some of this good Quaker. Hey, man, y'all uh, drop a comment and tell me if y'all know another grits that's better than Quaker. Hey, I don't do that little quick five minute grits, man. I like the real thing. So what we're gonna do is take this grits, put it in this Pyrex here and go ahead and get it washed up. And if you don't know what I mean by that, pay attention, cause uh, that's very important. So you already know, like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, Chief Green, baby. And like I always tell you, I'm back with another one. Bang, let's get these grits washed, man. So believe it or not, man, a lot of people always ask, man, what you mean by washing grits and stuff? You'll be surprised. A lot of people don't wash their grits off before they use it. But pretty much, you know, I use Quaker oats, right? Um, Quaker is a, a real good grit. It ain't all those little greens where you'd be like, man, what did they put in my grits? So first thing you want to do, go ahead and get this open. I don't need to show y'all how to open grits, do I? <laughs> so we just want to do a little measurement. Now I can eyeball this. Now I really don't have to do this for the camera, but I know I want to cook this. It's, it's, it's two cups of water for every one cup of grits, right? So let's dump this on in here, y'all. Ooh, get our grits on in here. We had about a half a cup. Now we need a full cup, baby. But we're going to eat on this all day long. All right, so we had one cup of grits, y'all. The only thing you want to do, you know, it ain't hard, uh, turn on your water. Now I put mine on a little, a little hot, just so it don't uh, stick up, you know, that cold water, have it stick, sticking. Now, you can take your fork, or you could do like me, take a whisk from an old blender, I mean, not a blender, an old, uh, what? Yeah, I guess it was my old blender set that I had that came with it. But I kept the whisk. We're going to whisk that up. Now, I like a fork, too. The fork could get all in the corners and stuff. But that's fine. You just want to wash the grits. Now, what I do is I sit it at a little angle here. Hopefully, y'all can hear this. I'm sorry if the water is all in the background. I'll try to condense it later so y'all can get the vocals a little bit more clear. But uh, so you see how all that is not clear? It looks like it's a little milky. Yeah, you know what that is? That's that starch, baby. You don't want that in your intestines and in your stomach, do you? So wash that off, man. You know what they use starch for? When you go to church as a little kid to put that little line down your pants, sharp enough to cut your finger, that's that. So we want all that starch up out of So I take my time here. I don't care if it takes me five minutes. I keep whisking, keep whisking. And I don't stop until what? This water turns clear. So let's go ahead. We don't whisk up a little bit. I'm gonna dump off that water. You ain't gotta worry, the grits will fall to the bottom because it's heavy. Turn this water off for a second. We're gonna whisk again, y'all. We just washing the grits. I may take two minutes with this because sometimes you'll be surprised what you find in them grits, man. I ain't gonna even say. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I done saw little pieces of leaves. I done saw a little rock before, and uh, I never saw no animals or nothing. Now, I ain't going to try Quaker like that. I haven't seen any insects or nothing like that, so they they good with what they do. Um, but still, the water look clear there, and what I do is I do one more last rinse just to get anything that ain't come out before. You coming out today. So... Put this down here on this napkin. All right. So, look at the water, y'all. You see it's still a little cloudy? I could really get away with this, but I'm gonna do one more rinse. I like that water to be clear. I want it clear enough where you think you could drink it. You can drink it, actually. <laughs> so, it may just taste a little gritty. All right. So that's, that's good. You see how you can see down to the bottom? That ain't too bad. Now I can really keep washing, but you're not gonna get it crystal clear, but you want it just about that clear. <laughs> so now that your grit's washed, you good to go. All right, now I'm putting two cups of water uh, into uh, my little bowl here, my little pot, I meant to say. 
Got that on high. Just gonna sprinkle a little salt in it. Bring it up to a boil quicker. Look at that thing like magic. Ooh, that's science for y'all. Y'all, y'all paid attention to science class. Everybody know water and salt makes it boil quicker. <laughs> I mean, salt into the water makes it boil quicker. So now that that's up to a nice little boil here, um, before we do anything, we like to put a little olive oil. You really don't have to do this. If you don't have olive oil, you could really drop in some butter. That'll work too. I was just too lazy to turn around and grab it. Could have just threw in that. I can't believe it's not butter, but I didn't. You just do this just so it don't clunk up together. So now we're gonna take our grits here. Yeah. You can use a spoon, I'm being lazy right now. Just wanna dump your grits in there. What I like to do is put a little bit of that hot water in the bowl, y'all. Now this for us, us advanced users now. Oh, see what I mean? That's exactly why you don't wanna do that, y'all. I'm talking about advanced and I messed up. <laughs> but it's all good. Get all them grits out of that bowl. Yes, sir. So that was a little boo-boo, but it's all right. Hey, we live in effect, man. So y'all, y'all could do this too. Hey, players mess up. I just messed up much just then, but it's all good. It's all good. So now we got this here. I'm gonna make sure I turn my fire down to low. That's key now. We had it on high to bring it up to a boil. We want to turn it down on low. I'm talking about real low too. Because the key, here's the thing with grits, y'all. I'm gonna be on all right. So like I was saying, y'all, here's the key thing with grits. You're not in a rush. That's what people go wrong. Everybody want them grits to be done in five minutes. Oh, it'll be done in five minutes. It'll be done in five minutes. No, it's not gonna be done in five minutes. More like 10, 15 minutes. Why? Because you want to cook it very slow. So I just turned my fire down to a low, 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 like what Flo Rider say, low, 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 low. <laughs> so them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. So I got that on low. I put my uh, fish still in the same container from the last video, y'all. I put that in the oven for the, on 325. I'm gonna cook that for about 20 minutes. I'm really just warming it up. I'm not cooking it. So let's check that, y'all. Just want to peek at this real quick. Because I, like I said, I don't want to cook it, y'all. We just steaming it up. Oh, you see that little steam coming out of there? You know, you can kind of just feel the heat a little bit. Yeah. That fish about ready. So... I don't want to burn my hands here. I'm trying to show y'all, but uh, give y'all a little quick little preview of how that thing, you see that? You see how that thing cooked up nice, y'all? It ain't uh, cooking, but you see how uh, the oil and stuff is a little bubbling on top with the juices from the onions and stuff. All that is natural juices, y'all, with a little water. As you've seen in the last video, you put a little bit of water in there just to keep it, uh, you know, steaming and fresh and good. You know, you don't want it to kind of cook on the bottom and them onions get to burning. So now that that's pretty much steaming and hot, I'm gonna sit this back in the oven, y'all. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that oven on and off. Turn that oven off. Actually, I'm probably, uh, I could just keep it closed. Why not? So set our timer for 10 minutes. You really don't have to set the timer because I like to watch my grits. I don't do all that cooking and go sit down on the couch and watch some TV shows and you come back and your grits burned up. <laughs> so I'm gonna set a little friendly reminder. Check my grits back here in about eight minutes because we already been cooking for about two. So in eight minutes, y'all, it just count down to seven, but in about seven to eight minutes, I'm gonna come back and check these grits and uh, I'm gonna show you what you need to do next, baby. <laughs> 